Aloha, my name is Tiffany. I'm the owner of Nini's Bling 808. I'm a paparazzi independent consultant and I'm the founder of Team Shining Stars. What I want to share with you today is a little bit of techniques on how to put accessories together to create the amazing sets that uh, you might see. If you haven't seen or heard of paparazzi before, let me give you a little bit about a little bit of information about it. So paparazzi accessories is 100% lead and nickel free. Um, they are costume jewelry. They are five dollars each piece. Our necklaces, you can see on Miss Shantae who's modeling for me today, she is wearing a beautiful necklace right now that is layered with four different chains. And of course, you're gonna have some sand stones on there now the thing about paparazzi is when they made necklaces they decided you know what we're gonna put together a set so they already come with a free pair of earrings to match the necklace this is the free pair right here silver fish back earrings and then you're gonna have those blue sandstones to complement the blue sandstones that you see here on the necklace now, when it comes to looks, a lot of the times we think of a uniform look, what I like to call uniformed look. It's when you pull together all the different um, sandstones that you can, but what you do is you put them together color coordinated, material coordinated. So if you can see on the necklace, it's a silver chained necklace, yes? You have those blue sandstones here. Now what I did was I paired it with these pair of earrings, which is really beautiful. They're chandelier-like earrings, they're silverfish shook back. They have the blue sandstone here to match the blue sandstone on the necklace, right? That is uniforming. They're silver, they're sandstones, they go together really well. And if you see down here at the bottom of the screen, we're gonna have two different types of bracelets. Now, not all the times are we a powerhouse big old bracelets but I love these types of bracelets they feel amazing when you wear them and they're also really really accentuating your looks so perfectly um, and it's really fun to wear these so these are cuff bracelets they're not going to connect there in the middle and um, this one is actually adjustable so a lot of our bracelets are adjustable where you can pull them apart to make them fit better on your wrists if you have bigger wrists like I do or if you have skinnier wrists some ladies are pretty pretty tiny dainty you can squeeze them a little bit more to have them fit perfectly on your wrist so miss Karen right here she's modeling this one that nice large sandstone there to match the set in a beautiful way now another bracelet that I put with it is here this is a smaller daintier cuff bracelet so again it is a cuff so it's separated here there's no connection it is adjustable and you can see there that beautiful sandstone it has the leaf feel on there or if you see a feather it has a feathery uh, feel there um, but this right here is a set that can go together really nice like right now you got a daintier pair of earrings here that goes with that beautiful necklace two different types of bracelets and one more thing that I'm going to tie in that is um, uniformed look that I was talking about earlier here's another pair of earrings that would be a great uniform look look at that isn't that a beautiful set I'm telling you so this right here is just an example of a uniformed look now when you think outside the box and you want to put uh, pieces together that aren't necessarily uniform which is what I'm explaining to you now I have a piece here that still has sandstone but the material is different so you have that silver necklace with those sandstones on there and here we have a brass pair of earrings these are mermaid like tails aren't they they are so beautiful so much fun lightweight and you can see they're not faceted down to the earring they are gonna have that movement Ooh, and I dropped her you know these things happen but here we are we're recovering we're recovering Knock off the backing there. Ah, and they're a rack. We're back. So you're going to have <laughs> those beautiful sandstones there. Same colors as the necklace. The difference is the material. So this is actually a brass pair of earrings. And look at that. Even though these earrings are brass and the necklace is silver, the sandstones pull together so nicely and you have a really pretty look. Thus leaving you in an extra room to wear a shirt that might have browns in it might have greens in it um, if you have blues as well this right here is a versatile look and still even with these bracelets here as your example um, as a complete set you could still work with those bracelets too the earrings doesn't throw off anything the colors still work really nicely and it brings life to those vintage pair of earrings right here 
So this is just an example of steering away from uniform looks. Let, let me show you another look that might be uh, a little bit more, um, I, I don't know, eye-catching, I guess, I don't know, let's see. All right, so when I said a little bit more eye-catching, what I meant is the beautiful pearls. Look at how these pearls shine, isn't that beautiful? So this is what I mean by a little bit more eye-catching because of the shine of the pearls, the crystal-like beads here. You're going to have these beautiful hematite crystal-like beads, all right? Really pretty. They shine real nice. The way the light hits them is just outstanding. Now you're going to have these beautiful red wine pearls. Now, again, the necklaces come with those free pairs for those of you not familiar with paparazzi. This right here is gunmetal fishhook back earrings, and they have the pearls on them, just like the pearls on the necklace. And then you're gonna have the gunmetal chain. Can you believe this is still $5? Can you? That's outstanding. Now the bracelet here, these are a little bit different. Now when I say different, it's because if you notice, gunmetal, but these are silver. So these are three different bangles in one set. And what you're going to have that's the same is those pearls there. So almost a uniform look with the pearls matching, right? Pulls together nicely. And these sets make amazing pieces. You're going to have that nice shine on your arm candy. And then you're going to have the nice, beautiful, uh, darker colors with that red that's going to pop and be real vibrant there on your neckline. And this right here is a almost uniformed look, but different because of the different types of materials. So the silver bracelets and that gunmetal there. This was just an example of a brighter, vibrant um, look. Sorry, lack of better words, um, but they are still a beautiful pair together. Now let's try to see something a little bit more extra shall we alrighty this right here culture shock I'm just kidding so this is actually what I like to call ununiformed so we have three different materials here the first one we're always going to start out with is the necklace so the necklace has gunmetal fishhook back earrings that already come with the necklace and they have seed beads this is a seed bead necklace all right y'all so you're going to have those um, hematite seed beads and then you're going to have these beautiful french blue seed beads all right and i tied them together with this earrings right here so this is silver fish back earrings these earrings though the teardrop shapes you're gonna have these really pretty hematite rhinestones at the bottom and they tie in with those hematite seed beads right now for an extra splash of flavor i love these bracelets right here these are so comfortable so fun and they look like you're wearing multiple bracelets when you're just wearing one what? So this is our, one of our snap bracelets. This snap bracelet is actually a suede. So your black suede, there's two adjustable snaps. So up and down and there's two adjustables. We're gonna put it like this because Miss Karen has smaller wrists. All right, turn it around. And now look at this. You have the uh, gunmetal studs. You're gonna have hematite rhinestones. You're also gonna have some rhinestones, some studs. And then here, you're gonna have some sequins. So you're gonna have that nice shiny sequins there that gives that beautiful bracelet a glow. Look at that. Isn't she just gorgeous? She is, I know it. So this right here makes a out of the box set when putting pieces together, not necessarily, would you think, well, let's put uh, seed beads with regular earrings um, or let's put a suede bracelet with seed beads. This is a fun set that I had a lot of fun putting together, honestly, um, because they go together so nicely. And one of the things that I love when I do this is putting sets together that you don't necessarily think firsthand that's a set. So this is just an idea. What I did here is I played with color. So. When I say I play with color, it's because of the hematype. Notice the theme going on here. You're going to have those hematype seed beads. You're going to have the hematype rhinestone earrings. And, of course, the gunmetal is pretty close to that hematype color. If you look at it, they're pretty close in coloring. That darkness that brings from the necklace, the earrings, and the bracelet. And still yet, they shine. So... This is an idea. This is a different type of look um, that you can pull together that's not all the same type of material. Not all seed bead, not all rhinestones, not all um, silver. Different types of materials that play really well together. Let's try another set. 
All right, so this right here is another type of um, pull together things. So we're gonna have an example here, this pink dip chain necklace. Oops, sorry for the people in the background. We've got a bunch of racers around here. Anyways, you can see the beautiful pink dip chains. They dip down and one great thing about long chain necklaces for us short people, they give the illusion that we are much taller, which is pretty awesome. I cannot stand being short. It's annoying, okay? All my friends make fun out of me for being short. And um, when I wear these ha-ha jokes on you, I don't feel short no more, nor do I look short. And they kind of stop. They kind of stop with the, the short jokes. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this right here is a look. It, it, it also, if you look at Shantae, she looks a lot taller now, right? Now you're going to want to rewind the video and go back and like, oh, well, yeah, she kind of does. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go back to this description here. So the earrings that come with her are already beautiful uh, dipped chains, pink dipped chains with the silver chains. You're going to have that dipped chain look for the necklace, right? Now what I did is I like to be extra, so I always add a little bit of extra. This right here is actually pink wooden discs. So you can tell that the discs are a little bit darker in the pink than the dipped uh, chains here. Check it out. Look at that. They're beautiful. So you got those wood discs in that beautiful pink color. Then you're gonna have those silver uh, hammer texturing to the earrings. And then, um, which hammer texturings are these right here. These pieces have the hammer textures to them, okay? Then you're gonna have those pink wooden discs there. That's silver fishhook back earrings. And that ties in a pretty cute look. Okay, so if you see down there Miss Karen, she's modeling a bracelet for us right now. That right there, that is actually a cuff bracelet so again cuff bracelets they don't connect there in the center and uh check it out the pattern of this bracelet is on point so that pattern of the bracelet there i put with this necklace because i thought it's just gorgeous i like the way oh, it's not going to see it that well i like the way that the patterning on the bracelet and these pair of earrings and that necklace all tie together now i do have another pair of earrings that i put with this necklace or i would put with this necklace um she is gorgeous i'm going to show you in just a second the color is a little bit different so this one is actually a little bit brighter in color if you're not in love with the darker pink then a brighter vibrant pink you should love more, right? I'm just kidding. It's totally up to you, though. Check that out. These two are wooden earrings, and they are super lightweight. They have silver fish hook back earrings. Um, and look at that. So you could do a look like this or like this. Beautiful. And you can kind of see the difference in the pinks here. This one is a little bit darker, and then you're going to have a more bright and vibrant pink. Um, either way, they pull together real nicely. What do you think? What do you think? Isn't that awesome? So another look, like I said, different materials. you got those woods, you've got the silvers, you even got pink dip chains, and then that silver cuff bracelet. The patterns on the bracelet go really nice with the hammer texturing here, and also the fact that these are some chains, and the chains themselves... Have a bit of a pattern don't they if you look at the links those links on here are different sizes so the different sizes in the links the chain links pull together really nicely with the design on the bracelet itself and that right there is just another way to look at putting sets together let's try another one all right so this right here is a really pretty one um, this is one of my favorite necklaces. I literally have this in every color. Okay, check it out. The earrings that come with it is silver fish hook back, and they have yellow beads to complement the necklace. So the pendant way down here is looks like a little uh, Native American, I want to say, feel. It's the look of it. It has like a feather look and a beautiful yellow bead in the very center. Um, one of my absolute favorites. So. You can see the length of the necklace gives the illusion that Miss Shantae is a lot taller. She has more torso, right? Um, and check it out. I like to pair different types of earrings. So this one, I like the extraness of this earrings. Um, silver fishing back earrings, of course. And you have yellow beads to complement the yellow in the necklace. Cute little flowers. All right, so this is another look that you can go with. 
the bracelets that I paired with this one here. So these are two different bracelets. So five dollars each bracelet. All right, check it out. This first, this is a lava bead, and uh, they're stretchy. So you're gonna have the hematite cylinders, and then you're gonna have one that has copper cylinders. So you could pair them together and have a cute look. Now, if you don't know about lava beads, let me tell you, these things are freaking awesome. So what you do is, if you use essential oils, like I do, you can rub those essential oils on the lava beads. And what happens is it stays on the lava bead with you all day long, throughout your day, and um, you can help yourself with the uh, use of your essential oils and keeping it with you versus only using it in a humidifier or not humidifier or maybe it's, I don't know whatever the thing that you use to put it in you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but um lava beads are a great way to have your essential oils with you throughout the day and um I use it my kids use it and it it works it works okay so love these pair of earrings with this necklace but what I wanted to show you is another pair of earrings that work really nicely so one more time with those pair of earrings that I just showed in the beginning with the necklace now for something a little bit more look at that more vibrant in color with the blues the orange the yellow look at that isn't she pretty and these are lightweight as well and so this set right here makes a boom bang popping set and I think she's gorgeous so just another idea of how to style and put together different looks really fun now for those of you who are not into the big earrings you think oh, I could never wear big earrings it's not my thing I don't think I look good in it girl let me tell you what get yourself a pair of big earrings that you think is beautiful try it wear it at least for one day and then notice how amazing it feels to wear something so big and bold and how comfortable you end up feeling. And the more you feel comfortable in your own skin, and how you look, how you like to look, how you feel, that's all that matters. And then the opportunity of all the things opens and you become more comfortable within yourself, more confident within yourself, and you feel more amazing about yourself. That's the fun and the amazing gift that uh, accessories bring. I never thought that accessories could change a mindset or build confidence until I started using them and uh, using them correctly. So this right here is a beautiful look. Let's try one more. All right, here we go. One of my all time favorite necklaces. This right here is a multi-purpose necklace. We have it in several different colors. Uh, the gold, we have it in silver, we have it in gunmetal. Right now I'm showing you the gold. So the earrings that come with it are gold fishing back earrings and you've got golden tassels, because tassels are life. Now what happens with this necklace is, it's just a long chain literally just a chain so you could wear it like a scarf you could wear it like a necklace you could put it in your hair i put it in buns um and i've also used it as a uh, like a what do you call it a headband um you could use it as a belt you could use it as a bracelet i mean literally whatever you desire you could use this necklace okay right now one of the looks that i learned and i absolutely love is adding a ring to the look so this is a paparazzi ring. Let's take it out real quick so I can show you this ring real quick. So this ring right here, this is called a knuckle to knuckle ring. Let me show you. This is why, hold on. <laughs> this is your knuckle to knuckle ring. You can see how it knuckle to knuckle, right? So for this ring, you can see you have that beautiful ooh, rhinestones. So you've got those topaz colored rhinestones. You have white rhinestones as well. Ooh, focus camera, focus. There we go. 
beautiful swirls and these are thick back rings so we have two different kinds we have a thick back ring and we also have thin back rings now what I like to do because we are in the season of using a lot of hand sanitizer thanks a lot COVID-19 um, but a lot of hand sanitizer I hope y'all are washing your hands a whole lot more than you were before uh, just for your own safeties right now because of that Here's a few things that, that happens. When you're using hand sanitizers, the alcohol that you're rubbing onto your hands, even though they dry, it is still present on your hands, thus killing the germs, right? But what happens is it also kills your jewelry. It can kill your rings. So to preserve the life of your favorite rings, what I would say is, Take your fingernail polish, your clear coat fingernail polish, whether it's top coat or base coat, coat the inside of here, this part of the ring, coat in here, and then coat here. Because if you're using hand sanitizer properly, you're going to be getting hand sanitizer on the back here of your knuckles and then over here too on the inside of your hands. So when your hand is wearing the ring, it is exposed to that alcohol's see even going like this the outside of the band is still being touched right so what you want to do is you coat it you coat it three times the first time you coat it um, you let it dry second time you coat it let it dry that third time you coat it and let it dry what's gonna happen is it's gonna preserve the life of your ring and depending on how much that you wear that ring is when you're gonna know you're gonna have to re-up you can definitely tell the shininess of the polish once you apply it is gonna end up fading a little bit so once you start noticing that fade you can reapply the fingernail polish to preserve the life of the rings now in this example for the ring what I'm gonna show you is in one side you're gonna take the chains here tassels because tassels are life put it through one end once you feed that in through, you're going to take the opposite side of the ring and the opposite side of the necklace and go ahead and feed it through. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. My hand's not blocking. There we go. And once you feed it through, what I like is a more um, one chain longer than the other look. It's just my style. You don't have to do it that way if you don't like it. But I do. So I'm doing it. Here we go and there you go that's how you get that type of look on the necklace it kind of looks like there's a pendant sitting there when in actuality it is a ring another ring and you can literally pull any ring and put it on there any paparazzi ring that you love go ahead and put it on there and got yourself a really cute look now what I did was I paired it with this so this is a metallic gold bracelet this is leather that faux leather all right Two adjustable snaps in silver. There we go. You can kind of see that beautiful. It's so soft. On the inside, it's a metallic silver, but the outside of the bracelet is a metallic gold. And then you're gonna have those beautiful hematite rhinestones just splattered across the bracelet. Again, another fun bracelet where it looks like you're wearing a bunch stacked, but it's just the one. And I paired it with this ring too. This is a golden ring. This is more on the simple side, not so much going on. It is just a simple twist of um, the golden bars there. And this is an example of a thin back ring. So you got the thick back ring, and then you got the thin back rings. So this right here is a thin one, all right? And you can still do the same thing with that fingernail polish of yours, um, and that clear coat, whether it's a top coat or a base coat, either one works and you can apply it to the rings. Now, on top of that, not just the hand sanitizer, um, but we also have natural oils in our hand, and because it's more um, summertime and it's definitely hotter, you're gonna be sweating a lot more, and um, the natural oils on your hands can also damage the rings. So, to help protect your rings, what I do, I coat them with that fingernail polish, and I can't stress enough how helpful that is all right life hack um so let's go ahead and take a look at another set ready all right so this right here are acrylic beads they're twisted one of my favorite types of necklaces not only because it's purple but you have the twisted beads on here and tassels because tassels are life so you got this beautiful necklace. These are the earrings that already come with it. This is a silver chain, silver fish hook back earrings. And of course, you need a little bit 
more. And what I did is, what? So check these out. These are Mother of Pearl like shell acrylic earrings. Check it out. Look at that shine in that Mother of Pearl. Isn't that pretty? So you're going to have that beautiful pearly essence in these earrings. The blues, the purples, the pinks, they all make a beautiful pair and mixture. These are post back earrings. So this is your silver posts. All right. And together, look at that. You can literally pair these particular pair of earrings with pink, with blues, with white. I mean... This is a versatile earring, like that. You can just pair it with just about any color, okay? And they make beautiful sets. So this right here is a set that I put together. I thought she was a gorgeous um, acrylic beads and acrylic earrings. I mean, why not, right? Pearly essence, solid colored beads. They all make beautiful, beautiful sets. All right, let's try another one. All right, so this is a uniformed look. Check it out. So... Remember when I said uniform look, it's because all the colors are matching. This is a complete brass set. Now, look at this beautiful necklace. The other day, I was feeling the pearl look. It's definitely going for pearls. Summertime, I always paired you know, wooden pieces and acrylic pieces and bright, vibrant colors. What I lacked was pieces that were pearls, pearl colors, pearl essence, um, are, uh, you know, it, 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 you should think about it. Pearls come from the beach, right? Why not have pearls for your summer look? So these beads are actually pearl-like beads. Look at that. They, they have that pearly essence to them. They're not actual pearls, but they do have that pearl coloring to them, that pearly essence to these beads here. So you got these beautiful brass beads, the um, 3D ovals, little circular pieces here, these really nice chains, which just make a really cool look then you're gonna have the brass earrings here these are fish hook back earrings and then these really cute little flowers in the center and what looks like little butterflies going around those flowers now that brass look ties in with this brass bracelet up here i bet you didn't even see this this is the cuff this is a brass cuff right here and in this bracelet come on camera focus focus there we go you can kind of see those flowers there if my camera there it is so you got roses and little flowers and foliage in this bracelet. This is hollowed out, so it's going to be nice and light. And uh, check it out. So that beautiful bracelet there, yeah? Now, as a set complete, you need just a little bit more. I have a thing for flowers and hair clips, all right? Flower hair clips, hair clips in general, they are my favorite. So for signature hair clip, here we go. Bam! This is a metallic olive green flower. You can see that beautiful shine to it. It's nice and smooth. You're going to have that animal print there. Really cute. Now these hair clips right here are going to come on alligator clips. So you can see that alligator clip right there, alligator mouth. Okay. So that hair clip completes this entire look. Now remember, I'm from Hawaii. So if you are married, if you are in a relationship, period, make sure that this goes on the left side of your head, girl, so they all the kind of know that you have one man, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, you put it on the left if you're in a relationship, you put it on the right if you're single, ready to mingle. You know what I'm saying, girl? You know what I'm saying? So if you like this as a look, it's pretty darn neat. I love it. That's your brass look. That olive green definitely pulls together with the um, brass coloring in the necklace, earrings, and bracelet. So if you like these, girl, wait till I show you. So we have these pieces called uh, urban necklaces. And uh, these urban pieces are for men and women. But as I pair them right now, I'm going to be pairing them for my ladies. So let's check them out. You ready? All right, so this is the really nice um, urban necklace. So what you should know about urban necklace when it comes to paparazzi, they thought about our men and made them really nice necklaces. Ladies, we can wear them too. I love the urban necklaces. Um, the only thing is, when they thought about the men, they didn't put earrings with 
the necklace. So if you want a pair of earrings to go with, we'll have to search for a really nice fitting pair. And I already have done that. Check it out. This right here makes a really nice set. So the look of the necklace right here, this is black cording, they're braided, and then you're gonna have these really nice silver uh, opaque beads here. All right, look at that. And that necklace with these uh, pair of earrings right here are fun. I love it, I love this look. It's hot. So check it out. Silver fishic back earrings, these are cork. So these are your cork material earrings. You're gonna have those really nice purple, pinkish reds and blues um, for foliage looks, right? Floral printing, I should say, check it out. So this is a look here and um, let's see if we can find another pair of earrings to go with. That opaque color, right? That silver. These right here are pretty darn neat. So these are long posts. And you're gonna see these are crystal like beads and they have the um, iridescent coloring to them. So they kind of have a resemblance of unicorns, that unicorn color, really pretty, check it out. So this can be another look for your set. Really nice. So for me, what I like to do sometimes is I like to add a little extra. So you're gonna have <clears throat> these really neat necklace right yeah but for me being extra I like the extra earrings so not all the times people would think let's put those together because they're outstanding but for me I like this type of pop this is my style this is how I would wear it um, I have worn it and I felt really good I got a lot of compliments people loved the look um, they really thought it was different and didn't think about putting them together but it worked and so you're gonna have that silver fishhook back earrings those beautiful white rhinestones in that chandelier look and then a simple necklace that simple necklace which is the urban this the silver bead there all right so i wonder throughout this entire video have you noticed that shantae has been wearing the same shirt throughout the video now have you noticed that I have paired all those different pieces with this one gray t-shirt? Let me show you one last look that is going to blow your mind. For me, I like to be comfortable. I don't dress up formal all the time. Um, I like to dress casual. It's just my style. I feel comfortable in a regular tee like this, a V-neck shirt. Um, I like to wear shirts that just have, um, you know, cute wordings, quotes on it. Um, but right now, I'm using Shantae with the simple uh, gray tee. Look at that. So this right here, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just show you real close. Let me show you real close. Check it out. Don't mind my allergies, okay guys? Look at that. Woo, there she is. Look at that shine though. So those are smoky gray rhinestones and then you're gonna have white rhinestones going underneath it. The earrings that already come with it are silver fish hook back with the white rhinestones. With a regular tee. and the same kind of earrings blinged up. So you saw the simple necklace, you saw how they vibed really nicely, and now you have a completely different look, a dinner look. All right, and notice that this is just a regular tee. Now, I say dinner look, you don't have to wear this as a dinner look. What you can do is, if you feel like wearing this set, okay, wear the dang set it makes you feel good you love it it makes you feel beautiful wear it who cares where you are going just use it because you know what she's gorgeous she deserves some love and so do you you deserve the love of yourself you like the way it looks you like the way it feels go for it girl now this right here is just an idea of not having to dress up all fancy dancy when you see fancy dancy pieces. You can use accessories for exactly what they are.
to accessorize your look. You can dress up, you can dress down, you can use these to pop your look, you can use these to be a little bit subtle. Or if you're like me and you like to be extra, extra. <laughs> and of course, you don't always have to be that extra. That, ooh, girl, you can be simple yet elegant. They all work. They all are beautiful. You saw the different colors that I put with the gray shirt. You saw purples, you saw pinks, you saw blues. It all went really nicely together. And so this is kind of what I wanted to show you today. I wanted to give you an example of how to put together pieces and feel comfortable doing it. How to play with material, how to play with color, how to use, um, what she calls it, uh, texturing all the feels, everything that you possibly can to get the best out of your look. So, how'd you think? What'd you think? Did you like it all? I hope so. And uh, I'm gonna leave you with these. These right here are our Z pieces. These pieces are actually $25. This is not the $5 pieces, these are $25, okay? And you're gonna have those beautiful white rhinestones. This, Beautiful Z piece right here. Rhinestones all the way to the ends there. Tassels, because tassels are life. And you can see how they sit really nicely on the neckline, creating that beautiful V. It um, shapes to the shirt and everything. You don't have to wear a V-neck shirt to wear this V-neck necklace, all right? And here are the earrings to match. Check those beauties out. So these are gunmetal material, gunmetal fishhook back earrings, and you're going to have those gunmetal materials, snake-like chains, white rhinestones, tussles, Z pieces. Check it out. Hold on. I got another one. Look at this one. This is another Z piece right here. That beautiful snake-like chain. These are nice and soft. Look at the material. It looks so lively. So while you are walking around doing your thing, no matter where you are, it's going to have some life to it. She shines so nicely. And then, of course, you're going to have those matching pair of earrings. Look at that. Same deal. You're going to have that lively look to these snake-like chains here on the earrings. All right, that's just another look for our beautiful Z pieces. Here's one more. What do you know? Pearls, pearled out. Check it out. So these here are just beautiful. So you've got those ivory colored pearls. Ooh, focus camera. And then these beads here with white rhinestones encrusted all up over everything. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it glow. So this right here is another Z piece set that is a gorgeous. If you can just imagine, this is a regular tee, a regular tee. If I had shown you this necklace, just the necklace itself with the earrings, you would have thought, where the heck am I going to wear that? Oh my God, what am I going to wear it with? I got to get all formal. Like, look at how well this works you can wear this necklace with this tee here and a pair of jeans a really nice pair of jeans whether they're blue jeans black jeans wash jeans um, you could use this with a skirt whether it's a um, pleated skirt a uh, I don't know pencil skirt um, whatever other skirts there are out there I'm not a real skirt girl so I can't know all the names but you know what I'm saying there's so many different possibilities leggings if you wanted to wear it with leggings and a pattern legging even it would work great um, just the different possibilities with this necklace with these necklaces with these accessories my god when i talk about paparazzi has created so many different looks that literally you can throw everything and anything together and it just makes quite a pair and uh when you're thinking that something might seem a little too formal um i couldn't use that like yes you could you simply could. It's just up to you to be comfortable enough to be yourself, love the skin that you're in, and accentuate what you want to, how you want to, when you want to. You know what I'm saying? Have the confidence enough to put together pieces that you love and don't care what anyone else thinks because you know you look good. And that's what matters. And that's what I love about paparazzi. So, 
in another video, I'm going to try to put, um, uh, what do you call those, clip-on earrings. <laughs> I'm going to put some clip-on earrings together and uh, not use them as clip-on earrings. So that should be a fun one. We'll see what we can do with that. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye!